Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our new year restart. I am so excited to make this video. We are going to be tackling the closet that I am in. It's my closet and we're going to be organizing it, decluttering it, and just doing all of the things. Um, I don't know about you guys, but my home often will reflect how I am feeling. So decluttering my space, organizing my space, just automatically changes and elevates my mood. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy this video. Um, I hope you enjoy just tackling one little space at a time. Oftentimes we don't have time just being busy working parents or stay at home parents with tackling the whole house at once. So one space, one area at a time. I'm gonna flip you guys around, give you a close up of everything, but let's get started. So I have flipped you guys around and this is what we are working with. I do have hats hung on the wall. These are kind, this is all like my dresses in this small area and then we have the laundry basket down there. We do have a monitor and that's gotta go. So, and I have some bags up there. And then over here we have a few hooks on the wall where we put PJs, that kind of stuff. So I need to clear that off. There's always laundry to do, so laundry's in there. Over here we have more hooks for my husband's hats. And then this box got to, has got to go. And then this little cube thing we got for more storage. And I just need to go there and tidy up my husband's items. This is his side. I'm going to have him go through his, his stuff a little bit. Um, and I just need to organize these bins. Um, a few of them are labeled. A few are not that has like colored shirts and stuff in it so we're just gonna go through those tidy it up same thing with this middle area and just get rid of items that we are no longer using and that are just taking up space in our closet and in our life and then the shoes I'm gonna tidy up those as well over here we have more of his pants I will tidy up that area on the top, just go through my bins to make sure it's all items that I want to carry with me until for the whole next year, like things that I'll actually use. And I'm just going to go through my clothing, um, donate anything that I haven't worn the past year, and just clear that out. And the same thing for the shoes. So some may look at this and think it's not that bad, but trust me, at the end, it's going to look oh so much better. Okay, guys, I am going through and getting my hands on every single item in my closet. I am going through deciding if it's stuff that I will actually wear in the new year, things that I love, or if it's items that I can give away that can serve someone else. I think it's so important to just take everything out, get your hands on it, and see it because there was things hidden between other clothes, clothing items that I haven't seen in quite some time. So get in there, get everything out, and um, touch all of the items. This is what we have for keeping. And then that little pile right there, that is to donate. So keep lots of stuff and then donate. This is the progress we've made so far. My stuff is on the bed. I'll cut to that shot in just a minute. Um, I'm gonna go through all of these bins up here and then through the shoes. Okay, now we are going through the shoes. I am doing kind of the same method, but I'm not gonna pull everything out. I am taking out kind of summer shoe items and I'm gonna put them in the other side of the closet. I will show you guys that later, but I'm just going through getting my hands on every pair of shoes and organizing them. I do blacks, brown colored, white, and then um, the end I have some colorful sneakers but my shoes are pretty much black black brown or white those are my that's my color palette but I'm just going through pulling out everything and donating items that I am currently not using look out here she comes the woman that I love 
too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Cause she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close To try, try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go going through all of my husband's items. I'm just going to organize them a bit better, but I will get everything put back in the closet and I will show you guys a final reveal um, of how everything turned out. The clothing, I like to do that in rainbow order, so I'm getting everything put back in the Roy G. Biv way and then I put neutrals at a certain area. <laughs> Here we are guys, here is our finished product. It looks so much better. Look at that rainbow order, and then my neutrals. I have my husband's pants, and then his items. I tidied up this little stand area, and then here, and then the buckets on top. Just looks so much better. Tidied up the hubby shoes. He does have slippers in that corner, like three pairs of slippers. His hat wall. And then some extras are stored there, and you see some are here as well. And then here is my husband's travel bag. One of my travel bags, which is stuffed with purses. That bag back there, which is stuffed with purses, that tote. And this little mama sign, I just decided to display it there. My sister-in-law made that for me. It has my kids' names on them. And all of the 
dresses and then this over here we had just gone to the store and I was like we I needed to buy another pack of hangers but I was like no I just need to clean out my closet and look how many hangers we have left over so all of that my hat wall and a full laundry basket so because it's always full and under here I just have some um, spring like summer shoes because that's like an unused space that we weren't using the back of the door is clear everything's either in the hamper or put away and I think it looks so good and so much better I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope it gave you a little motivation to tackle one area in your home to restart and reset for the new year thanks again for watching and I will see everybody very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. <music>